everybody. I have quite a mess here on my desk. This is Sherry from Share Bear Cottage. And, you know, I was just coming in here to uh, do some additions to the journal I'm working on. And I thought I'd see if you guys wanted to come along with me. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be, this page I'm just going to add, this uh, I'm going to be um, embellishing some um, items I've made uh, for inserts and for tags and pockets and things like that for this journal and um, just thought I'd bring you along. So this is the journal. I'm excited about it. It's only going to be a one signature but there's going to be 24 pages in it. So it should be a nice, you know, maybe a monthly journal, something like that. Um, or maybe somebody who just doesn't journal that much, maybe a half a page, you could make this a two month journal. Yeah. So <clears throat> I wanna add this sheet here. This is a piece, can you hear that? This is a piece of real rice paper, the kind that the, um, the Japanese and Chinese write on uh, for, you know, uh, the beautiful uh, printing that they do. And um, I ran it through my printer and put a digital on it. And, uh, I thought it turned out awesome, so I want to add it to this journal. I'm a little shaky today still. I, I'm um, recovering and I'm feeling better this afternoon so I wanted to get in here and get some stuff done while I could I have not um, talked to you guys for a while I, I'm so sorry about that but that's just how life is sometimes right sometimes we can and sometimes we can't so um, I'm looking for a spot to put this in this one here has an acetate cover with the pink uh, background. And behind the pink background, there's also a secret little pocket, if you can see that there. So I thought that would be kind of cute for in here. I could put it in here like this. Just a pocket I made with the acetate. Um, I think I did this on video a few videos back, but I'm not sure. I think I want to take a little bit more off this edge. Let's see if I can do that with the cutter. Or I might need to use my scissors. So I hope you all are doing great. <clears throat> I um, It's, it's uh, going to be 4th of July here soon. And wow. And away we go, huh? Okay, since I cut off the um, stitching that I had on here, I really should go and uh, redo the stitching. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, here we go, I put the stitching along here. So I think it's gonna look pretty cool right there. And then we'll start from the front and I'll go, you know, like that. But let's get this in here while we've got it ready. I'm just going to use a little fabric hack on the stitching so it holds nice and tight. I'm just going to do three sides to enable this pocket to have more than it appears to have. It will actually have three spots to include, you know, a note, a letter, a secret, money, tickets, you know, whatever. It's been pretty hot here all week. And it's going to continue because we are in the depths of summer now. Should have got my other one, my other jar uh, container. It would have been quicker. But 
I hope you don't mind. I'll reach for it here. Get it on here. Okay. Let's see if I can get the needle in this now. Adjust my glasses and there we go. Got it. All righty. So, get this in here nice and smoothly. Mm -hmm. Looks good with that paper, doesn't it? This is my avocado dyed paper, and this is, um, I think this one then inside there is a digital, although it looks very much like my avocado dyed paper. Okay. There we go. So now you see, let me pick up just this one. In here we have we have the front cover. Well we <laughs> I better not touch it till it's dry. I'll show you when we get back there again. This one I put a little cockeyed. I I kind of like it like that. Alright. I was looking for something, you know, either pockets here or something kind of special, you know, for the front page. And I don't think I have anything right here handy. Um, <laughs> I could put a short page here. Maybe I'll do that. Or I could put this uh, this fancy one here. No. This one's too bulky. It has lots of tags in it. So, what else we got over here? Oh, this is a topper. Yeah. An extra topper. Um, what shall we put in here? Let me see what I got here. I got it. I've got another one started here too. Yeah, I like this one here. Just wanted something, you know, a little different to put on the front page. Well, I don't want to waste time looking for it. I'll wait till I find it. And then I'll, oops, and then I'll show you. But this will have, well, maybe this one here might be nice. It's a little stiffer. It's, um, yeah, we could do that like that. Do that. By the way, you guys, I got me a, a whale tail, not a punch, but a, um, a die cut. And I love it. It's so darn cute. I haven't used it yet, but I can't wait. And it has all different sizes, so I'm excited about that. Okay, so let's see what we got here. We could put a little flower there. This really has no theme, and it's got butterflies, and it's a vintage. It's a... Uh, um, <laughs> Lady, ladylike. Here's a little um, envelope. Isn't that cute? You can put things in there. You can put coins in there. Um, some tags. I, I, I just pretty stuff. This is just a pretty one. A little bit vintage. A little bit botanical. A little bit flowery. A little bit uh, butterflies. Yeah. Well, that's what this one is. Perhaps we can put this one in here. I bought these new bottles. I'll tell you what, I've been messing with that pin because I lost the little cap. Don't lose the little cap if you buy these. Because it's really hard. It's like um, threading a needle, you know, to get 
the pin in. So, um, yeah, be careful with the cap. A warning from someone who knows. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's excited about July 4th. I usually stay home. I used to take the girls and um, a family uh, with me and we'd go all over town, you know, watching the um, fireworks because where I live, uh, the fireworks are illegal because it's so dry and um, you know, when fire's out here, once they start, they don't seem to stop. We don't want that, that's for sure. <clears throat> but if you're having, you know, a barbecue with your family and your friends, hope you have a great time. And move that. Now let's see. Maybe we can make some pockets for the fun of this. I really don't know what I want to put there yet. So I'm going to wait on that. And put that right there. This will be for writing. You know, I might put a little sticker on it or something. This is writing and writing. Um, here, it's just a pretty page. You can write on half of it or write over it. It's really fun to write on pretty paper. I made this envelope. Um, actually, I got it free on my HP. Um, I don't know what it's called, but it comes with your HP printers. And it was an airmail-like thing, so I put some stamps on and a little piece of fabric here and stamped it, stamped it on the back and added a butterfly. So I thought it was pretty and it could go in here really pretty like. And there's nothing in... Oh, also, this is uh, painted with um, stains by Patty Pockets. Yeah. And she's under uh, Patricia Viramontes on um, Etsy and YouTube. Okay. So we got that. Got a little writing space here and here. I don't think I want any pockets on here. Maybe something here. Um, I could use this little pocket that I made. I was going to put some of these extra little doodads in here, too. Okay, this one. This one here is made with an envelope. I haven't glued it together or anything yet. I've got this little tiny, teeny, tiny paper clip there. This is just a junk mail envelope with the big with the big uh, window. And so I just put it in half and then I folded this down like that. I thought it would look nice and I put the uh, Patty Pocket stains all over this. Made a pocket in the back and um, I was going to close this up, you know, and um, um, I don't know if I want to put something in there or not. But, you know, that would be a cute place for some, yeah, for some um, sequins or, you know, to make it a shaker, a shaker envelope. Let's get some. Can I take any out of this one? No, this one's all sewed her up. Let's see what I got here. I got some right here. I'm sorry, Ann. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm right here. <clears throat> well, I'll probably jack this out of the conversation. So let me put you on pause and then I can find them the right way. Okay. Okay, here's some beads. I think we might be able to use. Gotta open the right side. That was mommy, honey. That was me. That was me. Okay. 
Well, let's just pick some colors out. While this is still open, I can get some things in there. I usually like to put more things than just, you know, just sequins. Few of those. You don't need much, you know. Really don't. That's a pretty color. Some of these are a little bit hard to open. There we go. And a few of these. Oh no, do I have an opening on the bottom? I didn't even know that. I think I have an opening on the bottom. <laughs> Look what I've done. Oh my goodness. Well, Look what we can do. I know why I left this open. So you could put like a little picture of flower or something in there. Should I just do that? I wonder. Um, let me clean up my mess here. I'm sorry. Okay, I glued it and I decided to go ahead and use the sequins and I'm just gonna put a little bit of green in there too. Just a little bit of green. Shaking them down. Okay, that's kind of cute. Yep. I don't, there we go. So then that'll go this way, and I go ahead and um, do the rest of the gluing together. Here's one that I lost. Maybe I'll just put it here on this right number right here nah. oh I got a bunch in my lap <laughs> okay let's put them aside so I want to put a couple of these in I thought maybe I'll just put these outside well let's just glue it down first I'm having very a very undecisive right now so I want to have one here, and one here, and one behind it, okay? And then I need to decide, do I want one down here, or do I want one over here, or shall I just glue the corner and have it so you could use it either way? Hmm? That's an idea. Let's just glue that corner. I'm using Fabri-Tac because it is stronger stronger the strongest glue I have well you know I did buy this glue it has initials it doesn't have really a name some kind of compound something or other and um, I'm, <laughs> I'm afraid to use it <laughs> it smells really bad like a chemical I'm sure it is I'll have to show it to you some sometime. I don't have it in here today. <laughs> I'm not sure what it is, but you know they said it would 
wouldn't come undone. And oh, I didn't get the light or the strong or heavy. I got the medium. Okay. So this one, they'll be able to put something under here if they want or something in here. And then, of course, something bigger here. And I'm going to glue this side, too. Might as well do it with the, this whole pocket. Might as well do it with um, the fabric tack. Really, because I don't know how this... Um, finish you know the the stains by patty pockets I don't know how it it glues to itself or you know other products or so this is a strong glue it should work with no problemo there kind of cute something a little different we could put number six on here like that let's do that does this have any stuff in it <laughs> oh maybe i could nope no stuff in that one either <laughs> oh, oh. i have stuff all piled up here like a tower so <laughs> it could get dangerous A little bit of this blobbing out might as well use it right might as well all right here we go number six i love labels they always you know make something look so nice and stamping i've really been getting into stamping too and so now my next question is, do I want to glue this down? Then we have one, two, three, four, five. Or do I want to leave it so they can move it around? Hmm. I think I'm going to put some of these numbers and stuff in here because, you know, they're, they're so much fun to work with. And, you know, sometimes when you get, you know, these little journals, you know, and they're yours and, and you don't have anything that kind of goes with, you know, the stuff that they were using when they made it. So I'd like to include a few little things here and there. Let's put one of these tabbies in here too. Okay. That's good. Huh? Okay. Now if I can find my little, um, Yes, if I can find my little clip. Here's one, number one. I'll put that in there, too. Number one. I will... Um, another sequin. There it is. I'll find it. And it's a tight one, boy. This little booger ain't fooling around. This little clip. <laughs> They're serious. These little teeny tiny clips. I looked for mini clips on. Um... Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Hope I can get it. Let's see if I can stick my nail or something in there. Anyway, I looked for mini clips on Amazon. And they showed me these. And so I bought these, and I thought I was buying something similar to, you know, Tim Holtz clips. <laughs> no, these are like half the size. And so I thought, okay, well, I'll just use these, and I'll order some more of the Tim Holtz guys. There, I put it there. So everything will work. 
and it'll just sit there cute like that and it will sit on this page right here maybe later I'll put some thread through the oh my goodness it is so tight <laughs> you know what I am not gonna do that I don't want anybody struggling with that I'll find me one that I've curled bands and we'll use that this is a little too fat you know for it so here we go this will work fine and I can put a pretty little ribbon or piece of lace or something through it if I want to okay guys so we got this one and we have writing space we have more writing space and this cute little pocket and it's a shaker pocket beautiful paper to write on it's so much fun to write on beautiful paper it really is I, I say that a lot but I am I'm so I mean it so much this here I made I don't know if it would look good in here or not um, this is a a double-sided tag I thought I'd either put it um, at the top of a page like that yeah I might do that so let's see do I have another um, tag that would look nice in here maybe a shorter one how about this one I kind of like this with the stamp on it yeah that'll show that's good okay and on we go got that envelope there we got a nice big journaling tag here in this pocket we've got also a nice big journaling tag here well not so big but awful cute this thing opens and it opens up this way and it leaves open so you can write a note in there maybe something you are feeling that you don't want somebody else to know and it tucks right behind that bow. Here's a uh, actual wax seal, but I have it only um, glued to the bottom of this, uh, so it won't impede this from going in. Okay, some more pretty paper, some lined paper. This is a. a coffee dye paper that I stamped. I stamped it all the way around this page with lines on it. This is that um, that Japanese oh, rice paper. So you could get a round brush and black ink and try your Japanese on this side. This side's the shinier side coffee died and music let's we could put something on the music one and I got something for a pocket something for a pocket I have this for a pocket what do you think I think we need to do this edge all right Let's, oops, oh, I'm going to get my scoreboard. I don't know what I've done with my little scoreboard. He just seems to have taken off, you know, like so many things do. <laughs> and I'm sure I'm going to find it right where I either expected it to be or where I didn't expect it to be. So let's just get a tool so we can score this and I'll use my big scoreboard okay so we're gonna score let's let's just do it on six 
That way I can line it up. That's why my line's going away, but I do have a, a line there. Score it there. And I'll score it here on this one. And we'll score it here on this one. Okay, I think I'll put this little scoring thing in there. guys for being here today you know I would love to do a live but you know I'm too chicken so I'll probably never do a live <laughs> and um you know because I think it'd be so cool to be able to um you know get you guys's help <laughs> you know if I'm going mm, does this look good or does this look better <laughs> I'm doing one of those things yeah so, I don't know if anybody's ever told you, but you always want to put your bottom flap on the outside so it doesn't interfere with whatever you're putting in the um, pocket. At least that's what I was taught and told and seemed to work out for me. All right, here we go. And I think I have a, a um, yeah, one of these. Oh, this one would look nice in here, wouldn't it? We can take some of this. I think this might look cute on here and scrunch it up. Let's do that. This is a, a piece of napkin that I had left over. So I'm going to take it and cut it. It doesn't have to be even because it's going to be scrunched up. In fact, we'll just scrunch it a little bit up. Okay. And then we'll put some. I'm going to use uh, Uhu. If I can get it undone. I haven't used it for a while. I've been using my Avery some down here and we'll scrunch some up here and it doesn't have to go all the way across the page just to make it look pretty all right see a little bit here that I need to trim a little bit more off there we go cover up the white core and get my hole punch. And I think I'll use the little one because this looks like a, a much smaller punch. I mean hole. Let's see. Right there. Ah, yeah, pretty good. Not too bad for a bad aimer. <laughs> All right. Uh-oh, I'm bubbling over, bubbling over. I'm just going to put this one on here. I wish I didn't lose my um, other, my other one. But, maybe it'll be easier with this guy. Yeah, that seemed a little easier. With the fabric tack, it's a little harder. Don't ask me why. <laughs> I certainly don't know. Now, what do we want to do for a topper? Okay, you guys, I am so sorry. 
I do not know what happened. My camera shut off. My uh, TV shut off. That's what I was using to see with. And um, it seems to happen to me when I record in the afternoon. So um, I don't know. I, I did on this musical tape a page. I put a pocket here. I put a ruffle of um, napkin here. I put some lace ruffle here and set it in here. There. And then we went, I'll probably put something else in there. How about one of these? And then we went to the next page. I added the tulips and uh, we're going on to the next page. And I was thinking of putting down, you know, a picture like this for a tuck. And I think I will put that right there, right there. And um, we are still uh, recording right now. So I won't know if I can piece things together when I finish this, but um, I will try. This I made too, and I don't know if it would be nice to have it in uh, in this in this one. Let's see. This is an envelope turned inside out, stained with patty pockets, and um, I just enhanced it with a little piece of of paper lace and some washi tape. And um, I thought it might look good inside a journal, but I'm not. <laughs> but I'm not sure this journal is the right journal for it. So let me just take a look here. I guess it could go way up here. Oh, look at that! Matches this paper. How funny is that? I try to yet use up all my paper stuff, you know. From, I don't know. I don't think so. I think that should go in another journal. A little bit grungier than this one is. Although this one has a little grunge going on. <laughs> I did a lot of sewing in this one. And, um, okay. Let's put our, our pretty little lady down here. So prim and proper with her fuzzy little gooseneck uh, shawl. Yeah, let's put her on here. Huh. I will go around three sides. Well, actually, no, just two sides. Two sides is all. That'll be enough. That's some pretty paper I am covering up too. Um, it's been one of my favorites for a very long time. And um, did I cover it? No, I didn't cover it up over there. But it's uh, one of my favorites. Just some random paper I found somewhere. I don't even know where. No clue where. Okay, let's see what we have. What can we put behind here? Well, this little envelope could go in here, or it can go in another one. I also have a, um, this is pockets. There's a pocket in here. This picture is a picture of my mom when she was young. She somebody wrote on it that really doesn't look like her writing but it's just cute huh <laughs> this was in my grandmother's backyard oh many many way before I was born way way <laughs> so you have a pocket right here and then you have a, a pocket here 
and um, I can leave my little mom my mom's picture in there and you can take it out it will come out and put your own picture in okay so for right now I'll just leave it right there and I'll put this decorated paper clip back on there this will go somewhere yeah we'll put it on a page back here how about up here that's a good spot right right and we could put it on the side you know we could oh it's stuck in the lace now wouldn't you know come under here baby come on under here Come on, get under there. No? Okay. It's probably cooler under there. There we go. We'll just leave it like that. It's a little bulky, but it's okay. I've been wanting to put it in a pretty journal for a while now, and now I've got a pretty journal going on here, so here we are. And I just made another crease in that. Whoops. Okay, back to where we were. We're still recording, but monitor's on. I've got two here. We did that. Got a ruffle. Got this going on. What else do we have out here? I pulled a bunch of things out and I thought, you know, maybe I could do something with. Um, have this little thing. I haven't really done much with it. Um, let's see. Well, for right now, I guess we'll just put a couple tags. Well, here, we can put this tag in here. It has all the old pictures on it, too. And this one has, we'll just put it here. And then you'll just think it's a tag, whoever gets it, and they'll pull it out, and you can open it up and have a little booklet place to write on. Okay. And we'll continue on. And maybe we'll put some tulips here. That look pretty. Let's try it. You know, I wish they, you know, have little tabs or something on these. There's got to be a way to make a place to easy, make it easier to get into these little stickers. They're so difficult. This one's wrinkled if I can grab it. There. No, not there. <laughs> uh, come on. Okay, now here's a place where people would say bad words. Okay, I'm going to say some bad words now. Bad, bad words. <laughs> See, if you say bad words, it, it works every time. What do I tell you? What can I say? All right. On we go. Writing space. shortness there and a glassine bag with a really cute tag in it. Some more pretty paper on the back of this paper and I left it here kind of in the middle so you could read it pretty good. These are way old, 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 old recipes and I thought that some of them sounded pretty good, worth trying. This one is going to be um, in the middle, 
you know, and it'll be a pocket. You know, I should just uh, go ahead and put this on. Yeah, it'll be sewn up when I sew up the journal and uh, it'll be the pocket there in the middle. Yes, ma'am. Like that. So you get to see most of the recipes. Another place to draw. Another beautiful tag. Oop, there's another number. There's my mama. Here's a huge tag. Now this is black, but if you write, and you can write in white, it looks awesome. Or you can um, use a regular pen, like a blue pen, and um, it, it's sort of like a rainbow effect. You can tilt it like that in the light and you'd be able to see it. Yeah, there's that. I'm going to leave this open. This well, I'll put this in here because you know they'll they'll know that it's a place for pictures. <laughs> At least they'll know. Put grandma in there. Yeah. Oh my goodness, come on. They want to move all over the place now. They don't want to hold still. They're saying, oh, we're getting close to getting put in a book. we got to move around. <laughs> we're in the middle. I don't know, do we want this one here? Do we want a more delicate one in there? Like this one. Might be better. It makes me want to put something on there. Something here. Now I have some of these things that I haven't uh, cut down. They're just, you know, pieces from a, from a book. I cut some pieces down. I made them for uh, pockets, so cut them up. Yeah. They don't have to match, they're not going to be on the same page. glued these together, yeah, and, um, oh, Patty Pox, it's falling over. She has a lot of different colors of her product now on her site. Um, if you're interested in going over there and checking it out. And, um, very pretty. I let mine dry a day or so. It dries tacky pretty quickly, but I like to let it dry. Um, how about, let's move this a second. <clears throat> this song. Uh, dictionary here piece that I'm using is so brittle I mean you can tell it's just it's just falling apart 
So the only thing that I know to use with something that brittle is a glue stick. I'm just going to put that whole piece on. and We'll find three pieces to put on here and then we'll get something that's, um, you know, a um, point of interest and we'll put that on. I have this, but I was going to use it for, you know, uh, I'm not going to use that. I will use this other color of page and then maybe some pink. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I didn't get it quite far enough over. It's okay. Uh oh, I got a lump. Well, you guys, I've probably gone too far as it is. But what we'll do is we'll just do this. Um, this um, piece right here. And then um, I will hang her up. Okay. And you can help me work on it the next time. That'll be fun. Okay. Let's cut these off. So what have I got over here? I've got some. Oh, this is cute. This is a little folder thing I made. This would look cute in here, too. Then an extension for something else. Uh, nothing that I want to tear apart right here. Let's see. <laughs> Anything I want to tear apart over here? How about some flowers? One reason I could tear this apart is because I have more. <laughs> That's kind of pretty, huh? Let's cut it here. where the corners are. Yeah. How about a Tim Holtz person? Could put a Tim Holtz person on here. What do you think? I like that idea. See? That's where you could tell me. Yes, that's a good idea. Tim Holtz person. Okay. Tim Holtz person. I just saw you. Where are you? There's some right here. Yes, sir. We've got Tim Holtz people right here. How about a little ballerina? Oh, these are the tiny guys. Ooh. Where'd that ballerina go? Here she is. Will she fit? Nope, she won't fit. How about if she's tinier? Oh, I think I see one. This one? Well, that's a different ballerina. She's very tiny. Mm. He's a cute little boy. Yeah, he's looking cute. Oh, here's one. Will she fit? She will fit, and I will put some gauze under her feet so she's not flying in the air. And 
with a piece of washi tape. It should be good. Sorry, guys. Dang it. These last minute thoughts of things just kill me on time. They really do. So, okay. We'll put her on here. All right, kind of in the middle, maybe over this side. Okay. Let's do our inking. Oh, I want to make a little thumb a thumb piece yeah thumb piece hmm oh, that's a tan piece what's this I have a box over here I'm digging around in <laughs> here we go What's happening here? <laughs> well, I don't know what happened there, but I have a little bit bigger one. Yeah, it just kind of gave up the ghost on me there. Remember, guys, if you have any questions about anything that I have or I'm using or I'm doing, please just drop me a comment. I will respond. And um, also, you know, I could use your help. Um, tell me what you'd like to see me do. If you would like something, you know, in particular, you know, like, Tell me and I'll try to do it. Okay? Just leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. All right. Maybe we'll just put some of this paper over here. We'll do that. didn't clog up on me since I used it last. It almost did. Don't forget, guys. If you like what you see here, give me a thumbs up. If you um, haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do. I'd love to see you come back. And speaking of coming back, if you want to be notified when I put out a new um, video, all you have to do is click on the bell. There is a bell there. And uh, it will notify you when I put up another video. Also, um, FYI, I am going to put this in here, but I am going to um, uh, sew around it. So, can't do that now, and I don't want to stop it and start it again. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say goodbye, guys, and um, uh, take care of yourself, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs> Maybe, bye-bye. There we go.